cruising is finally getting and feeling back to normal. However, there are a few things that, well, aren't quite there yet. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I just got off a cruise yesterday and I still have a little bit of that post-cruise high. Those post-cruise blues haven't really set in too much because I do plan on going on another cruise in about another month. But anyway, more to come on that a little bit later. But what I did want to do in this video is share with you some of my observations, some of the things that I really felt were really feeling very much back to normal in cruising. I absolutely love this. And other things that just really weren't quite there yet that you should know about, some of them really did surprise me. And I think they do potentially have a risk of affecting your cruise. Now, before I get started, I did want to mention that if you enjoy this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give the video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started first with the things that are really kind of back to normal or at least almost back to normal and I have six items to mention to you. So the first thing is masks. Finally as guests we do not have to wear masks on a cruise. Now I was on Royal Caribbean and I left out of the United States so it could be different depending on where you are leaving from but this was really such a pleasure. We didn't even have to wear masks um, at embarkation or at disembarkation. And of course, wearing masks were optional. So if you are more comfortable wearing a mask, you definitely can. There were probably, I'd say, just a few people. So maybe less than 5% if I had to guess of guests of passengers that were wearing masks on a cruise. Now, I know everybody will have a different thought on this, but I really did feel like because I was in the United States and I could see that most people are not wearing masks to the mall, to the restaurants, that this just seemed more in keeping with the way people are living regularly, at least in the United States. Number two, the full service buffet is back. Now I have a confession to make. I did not go to the Windjammer to the self service buffet even once during this cruise. Now it's not because I don't really like it, which is true. I actually prefer a full service buffet, but really on the Oasis of the Seas, the ship that I was on, there were so many other dining options that I just never ended up going into the Windjammer. But please let me know what you think. I know a lot of people actually prefer the full service buffet, but I will bring up something, I guess, um, that is not quite back to normal that might have something to do with this. So just in a couple of minutes. Number three, ships are sailing without reduced capacity. Now we do still actually have reduced capacity on the ship that I was on. There was about, I'd say 75% in terms of the capacity on the ship, but cruise lines have now said that they don't intend to sail at reduced capacity for much longer. By the summertime, they are expecting to be at about 100% capacity. So if you are sailing now, you are still going to be able to get probably those ships that are only maybe at 70, 75% in terms of capacity. And you'll definitely appreciate having just a little bit more of that space. Now, personally, I didn't really mind having this amount of people on board at 75% or so we still were able to get chairs um, at any time. We really didn't have an issue with chair hogs. That was pretty good. The service on board overall was pretty good. We only experienced lines a couple of times and I will again tell you a little bit more about that a little bit later on in this video but overall you still feel the energy of the people which I really like and the ship wasn't overly crowded at this point. Number four, many of our favorite activities are back and there aren't the restrictions that existed before because of the different, well, COVID and pandemic health protocols. So things like social distancing or physical distancing, those really seem to be completely gone. Despite the fact that there are signs around the ship, we just never saw this adhered to in any way. So karaoke was back and something really fun. There was the 70s party um, out on the Royal Promenade. So this was happening, definitely no social distancing was going on, but we were told that the 70s party, that this was the first time that this was back on this cruise ship. Number five has to do with testing. Now it is not what you think, testing hasn't gone away. However, if you are on a back-to-back -back sailing, we have had some cruise lines who've now said that they will not be doing testing for their passengers for the second portion or their next portion of their back-to-back -back sailing. Now, obviously make sure with your own cruise line, 
what the rules are for your specific sailing, but this is a step in the right direction. Number six, if you are sailing with kids, the kids clubs are finally back to a much more normal state than they were before. On some cruise lines, what you needed to do was you actually had to reserve place for your children in the kids club. And now this is just not the case. Things are back to normal for the kids club and that is definitely some good news. Now let's talk about some things that are not quite back to normal yet on cruises and a couple of them really potentially could impact your cruise. So the first one is that crew are actually still wearing masks. So I have to say this did feel a little bit awkward. Um, I know a lot of the crew had told us they are finding it very difficult to work like this, wearing their masks, especially uh, the dining room staff, they are like literally running around, like moving very speedily. And they are telling us it is hard for them to breathe and to work like this. And it does feel a little bit awkward when guests are walking around no masks and the crew are all wearing masks. So everybody from the people that are doing the activities, people working at the shore excursion desks, the waiters, um, you know, people working at the activities, even outdoors, the bartenders, and you do really feel for them, of course, if they wanna wear the mask and if it's healthier for them, I'm definitely all for it, but I do wonder about this at this point. Please let me know your thoughts on this. Should the crew still be wearing masks if they don't want to? Please let me know if you think this is going to be going away soon. Please let me know down in the comments below. Number two, not all shows, not all activities are going to be running on your cruise ship. And I know this is disappointing. We were personally very disappointed that the Aqua Show didn't happen on the Oasis of the Seas and neither did the Broadway show Cats, by the way. So that was two major shows on an Oasis class ship that didn't happen. So obviously that was something that was disappointing, but these are things that can still happen right now. And why can they happen? Well, they can happen because obviously there is the potential for illness. We all know we are still living in those times where people might be quarantined and that kind of thing. So that might be the reason. There can be also some uh, difficulty with organization perhaps, perhaps on the company's part. And we have been told that there are some crew shortages. And really this was something that was told to us by several of the crew on board the cruise ship. They had said that just it happens to be that they are really actually having a hard time getting crew on board. And that was something that we definitely did notice. The crew was amazing in terms of service. They were working so hard, but you could really see that they were working hard. And I should mention one of the things that we were told by some of the crew was they were a little bit concerned that as the capacity of passengers continues to increase, that if they don't get more crew on board, it is going to be harder and harder to serve the passengers. Number three, certain events, certain parties may not happen because of, well, health protocols. Now this was in particular, sometimes there's no rhyme or reason to it, but we were told the past passenger party or the loyalty party wasn't happening due to COVID health protocols and not wanting to have too many people together in one venue. But the karaoke was happening, the 70s party was happening, and honestly, there was no social distancing. So I think we're just still at a point that we just have some protocols that are staying while other protocols are going. And these are all going to sort of roll through, but do expect things to not necessarily have any rhyme or reason as these protocols, well, slowly go away. Number four, now this one, very much surprised me. You can expect that in some of the cruise ports of call that you are going to be asked to wear masks. Now, when we got off the ship in Nassau, Bahamas, before we disembarked from the cruise ship, we were told to please wear a mask as we got off the cruise ship. We were even given one because we didn't even have one with us because we weren't wearing one the entire time on the cruise. And we did put it on. We did notice that a lot of guests put it on um, as they were walking on the dock and then really removed it right after that. But as we were walking in Nassau, we did see that there were signs um, on the doorways in a lot of the shops that were requesting that people did wear masks. So it is something to be aware of. Maybe keep a couple of masks with you if you are going into the cruise ports, just in case. Number five, reduced hours at some of the dining venues. Now this was something that we definitely saw on the Oasis of the Seas. And this is something that we were told by a lot of the crew was happening just because they did really have sort of that shortage of staff um, on the cruise ship. So sometimes the hours for breakfast 
were limited or some of the venues that normally would have been open for breakfast, uh, like Johnny Rockets, for instance, uh, wasn't open. Some of the other areas, maybe like the um, Solarium Bistro that would normally have been open for lunch, wasn't open for lunch. Now, honestly, there was no shortage of food on this cruise ship, so not to worry, there's never a point that you'll be hungry or anything like that, but just expect that not everything may be open the way it was before. So this is definitely kind of not exactly back to normal just yet. And the last thing that's not exactly back to normal just yet is when it comes to vaccinations and testing. So really this is staying pretty much at around uh, the status quo the last few months. So the majority of passengers do need to be vaccinated to go on a cruise and pretty much we all need to be tested within two days, provide a negative COVID-19 test result within two days before the cruise. Now, obviously at the time that you're watching this video, make sure that you're always checking that information for the cruise that you are going on, but it is getting easier. At least when it comes to the testing, you can do virtual testing. I did this this past cruise and I honestly found it even easier than the last time that I did it as well. Now, if you've been holding off on going on a cruise, waiting for things to get back to normal, I think this is pretty much as close as we've ever been. So I definitely think that it is a good time to book a cruise. I do have a little bit of a concern about those cruise shortages. So hope that that all works itself out and that the cruise lines do bring on more crew. Please let me know your thoughts on this. If you've been on a cruise recently, if you've heard this from the crew as well, or if you've perhaps noticed it yourself, please let me know down in the comments below. Now I am gonna leave a video right at the end of this one. It's all about how I organized my cruise cabin on the Oasis of the Sea. So if you are interested in that, please do check that out next. Now I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now, happy cruising.